So um, I uh, had this idea for the fairies in Midsummer Night's Dream, and that the fairies would sort of touch sound or would wave their hands in the air and somehow control the, the sound in the play. And uh, so I had initial ideas of using sensors in the clothing that would trigger the um, sounds. So in the process of doing that, this is a work in progress, I found this little toy, which is a DJ uh, kind of wireless toy, and I'm just gonna turn it on now. And that's great because it has all of these buttons that I can use to trigger stuff, and I also have um, this control over here as volume, and then I also have this accelerometers that do this funky stuff, right? Um, so I used all of that to trigger all the music and all the sounds in the play. Um, and it's kind of replacing the traditional methods for uh, triggering music or sound cues in theater productions using QLab or whatnot. Um, so now with this, I can just press any kind of button and just like, does that, right? Um, just turn it off whenever I want or turn some other sound there like that. Um, so that's sort of the traditional just trigger a sound and that's what that does, right? I could also control the volume of sounds. And what notes I'm playing. Right? Or I could use um, the accelerometers to control um, the brightness of a sound. And in this case, I'm using a wind effect that I just sort of start it and then the accelerometer changes the sound like that, right? That's pretty cool, right? Or I could use the sort of bubbles sounds. I could turn them off, turn them back on, have them be sort of a drier sound or this kind of crazy sound, right? Well, I could also use um, these um, arpeggios that are uh, sort of chords that I trigger that also change. Or I could have just just all these textures that grow into the core or come out, right? Acting the house, do 